Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? So today I've decided to show you all what is on my iPhone. And I know a bunch of YouTubers have already done this kind of video, but I thought this would be a little fun video to film. Anyway, so today I'll be showing you my apps, what apps I use the most, and also my top 5 favorite apps. Hopefully this won't be too boring, but I will try to make it more fun and interesting. So let's get started. So this is my current background, and I will have a little clip right here for you all to see. And I did take the picture of course, um, and I stole it from someone else. And as you can see, I do have all the Apple apps on one page, and that's because I kind of like to be organized. On the second page of apps, I have all my social media apps in one folder, uh, my photography apps that I use for photo editing in one folder, uh, school slash office apps in one, and the last one, lifestyle apps in one, and that's basically like the Amazon app, the McDonald's app, and I said McDonald's, yeah I did. And I also have a news folder, and that's where I keep all my news apps, and I like to keep updated with what's happening around the world. But I guess that's what Twitter is for, right? And continuing on, of course I have my YouTube app right there, and also other games that I have that I never play, which I only keep it there for display purposes only. And as well, on the last page of apps, of course I have more games that I rarely play with, and now that I think of it, I should really, really delete some. So if you are actually wondering and curious about what are my apps that I use most, they are probably going to be Twitter, YouTube obviously, um, Instagram, and Snapchat. They are literally all social media apps. My life is full of social media. And that is not a good thing. Next up is my top 5 favorite apps, and I will recommend all these apps to you all, and I will leave links below to the apps for those who are interested. And I promise they are not social media apps. Yay! The first app that I fully recommend is Afterlight. It is a paid app, and it's like $1.19 Canadian, and I know that it costs money, but besides from it costing money, it is an awesome app to edit your photos, to share to your family or friends, or even like me posting it to Instagram or even Facebook. It's basically like a mobile Photoshop and it has a lot of cool features to make your photos brighten up. The second app that is my favorite and would recommend is Apps Gone Free. This app is really awesome, I use it all the time. It's basically an app where it tells you when an app that is usually paid is for free. So for example, every day there will be about 5 to 6 apps that will be listed that have been paid but now are for free. And you have the option of clicking on that app and if you like it, you can tap on get it on the app store and it brings you to the app store to purchase it or get it for free basically. The third app that I fully recommend is Calculator, and this isn't just any calculator that you would use. It is a calculator where you can write on. For example, if I have this very long, complicated math equation I have to solve, and I'm unable to do it with the normal calculator that is built in with the iPhone, then I can just use this. I'm able to write my own equation down, and therefore it will solve it and give me the answer. I use it all the time since I don't always carry around a big scientific calculator. The fourth app that I would recommend, and it's also one of my favorites, is Word Academy. But this somehow helps me speed up time whenever I'm bored or want something to do. It's basically a game where you have to solve word puzzles. There are different levels, and it gets harder and harder as you go on. The fifth and final app that I would recommend is the Pedometer. I really like this app because it tells me how many steps I take each and every day and also I know there's a health app I can use but this app is just more better looking and it's more nice and I like it. It also has a really cool feature where you can see how many steps you have taken through your notifications. So if I pull down my notification bar, it will tell me how many steps I've taken and also how many kilometers I've walked or ran and also how many floors I've taken or how many flights of stairs I've climbed. This is a really cool and excellent app for people who want to track their steps each and every day. So 
so I want you in the comments below to tell me any cool apps that you guys use. Alright everyone, that will be the end of this week's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you want to check out the apps that I just listed, the links are in the description below. And also, make sure to subscribe by clicking here. Click the two boxes below to watch my two previous videos. And also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll have all the links below. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.